Hello, Sharon Blanchard here from Kirkwood Distance Learning. Today I want to demonstrate for instructors how to provide feedback to students using the annotation tool and Talon. I'm already in Talon as a student. Donna McNulty, this is my test student. And I'm going to first demonstrate how to upload the document. So this assignment has a rubric as you see there. And I'm going to go ahead and add the file for my assignment. And click Submit. On the instructor side, I'll refresh my screen. And you can see that I have one new submission for this assignment. Go ahead and click on the assignment. And click evaluate. By clicking on the document, you'll see the document that will populate here. I'll be able to read and review with the student, put in the, their document for the assignment, and then I see I have these annotation tools in the upper right hand side. The first is this pen. I have the option of drawing, reform highlight, text highlighter, and eraser. So I'm gonna demonstrate on how to, to draw. If I wanted to circle or put in um, something here, I can put a smiley face. <laughs> I can also reform highlight, as well as use inline text highlighter. So if I wanted to highlight this first instance here, as well as an eraser, I can erase some other content that I needed to. Next is the are the post-it notes. You have the option to customize the color. Go ahead and put a color here. And I might want to put something right after instance two and create a note. Use of this. And as you see as this collapses and as I hover over it, my note shows up. Other tools are the text. If I'd like to put a note in here for Donna, nice definition here. Or if I wanted to um, create or un underline something, I could do that. Or there's the option to create an arrow or even a rectangle if I wanted to to select an entire area. If there's something that I didn't like or we didn't want to do, or if I want to delete something, you just select the annotation, click on the delete, and then OK. I also have a rubric. So for the case of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and write that. I could provide written feedback for each of these, but I'm going to click close and then provide some feedback for Donna here already written something up. We do suggest that you give the student some instruction to review the feedback you've written in the document. And here I've written to her to please click the view inline feedback that students will see. I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And then switch over to the student's view. And then I suggest going into grades. And this should show up way at the bottom. Yep, as it does here, this very last one. Case study two, a day in the life, 10 out of 10. Here's the message that I wrote to Donna. Here is the information for the inline feedback as well as the rubric. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and click on this inline feedback. And you can see that a new tab opens up where Donna has the option to see all of my notes, highlights, text, and then review the sticky note as well here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.